Hey guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we are doing a um, Funko Pop um, reveal or opening out of what you call it. I haven't really um, done any of these. Um, but as you can see, we got a box here from Entertainment Earth. And so um, these are, I would say, a little bit old. They're brand new, but um, been out for a couple weeks now and stuff. And they are the uh, Row 1 Pops. So I ordered them all off Entertainment Earth because they had a deal of buy four, get one free. So um, there were 10 new pops and stuff. So getting all of them, I was able to get a um, pretty decent price, price, paid about $7 a piece. Um, so I just went ahead and ordered it off there and, you know, was able to guarantee it and stuff. But I just got them a few days ago. So now we are going to do an unboxing of them. Um, so I guess first up we'll start with um, the main character, which is Jin Erzo hard to see in the box there and so of course this is the main character played by um, Felicity Jones um, in the movie and of course Rogue One comes out here in a few months so um, hopefully it'll be really good of which I'm sure it will be just by the trailers alone and so here is her up close and stuff and as you see she's got um, her hair all in a nice bun and stuff there in the back she's got a gun in her hand she's in kind of like a leather clad outfit and stuff that you see in the movie and everything it's just and it looks really cool and stuff and I like the detail in like her holster how it's like open like the gun would actually be in there and stuff um, but that is really cool of course this is just the plain version they have a whole bunch um, out and available and stuff that you can get uh, very like or varied exclusives and stuff like that um, so next up we'll go with what I assume to be like the um, second in command or um, second character, um, but uh, it's uh, Jin's friend, and it's um, I guess I should show it to you first. It's Captain um, Cassian Andor, and stuff. So I assume he's supposed to be um, like the Han Solo of the movie kind of thing. And so once again, I think they have some exclusives um, at various stores and stuff that you can get. But this is just the um, plain version one. So there he's in what looks kind of like a snow type outfit and stuff because he's got the um, like fur hood and stuff there. And so he has his gun. And then he's got a backpack with all sorts of stuff on it, like a little roll and stuff for sleeping on the ground and various things. And so he just looks really cool. Um, detail on his clothing, which hard to see in this light and stuff. But it looks really cool. So that is um, Casein or whatever, I don't know how to pronounce the names, um, but we'll figure that out once the movie comes out. Um, next up we have um, director or Orson Krennic, which of course it looks really awesome. I um, feel like he's going to be kind of like the um, Grand Moff Tarkin or whatever from like episode 4, um, kind of like that kind of backup character, but like the main bad guy in the movie and stuff. So there is him up close. Now you see he's just in like a, um, I think it's supposed to be like white, but here it's kind of like a cream color outfit. And so it, um, it's hard, again, to see in the light and stuff, but he's got all the um, red and blue like patches or pins there and stuff showing, you know, he's pretty high up. He's got a gun in his folded hands and stuff. So that looks really awesome. Um, hope he plays an awesome character in the movie worthy of being a bad guy against the rebellion. Um, next up we have the K2SO, which is of course the robot in this, and he's kind of like, um, a bounty hunter, like I've heard him compared to like a mixture of, um, C-3PO and IG-88, so of course C-3PO as in he's the robot of the, um, rebel group and stuff, but he's also like a deadly killer and everything, um, like IG-88 and stuff, um, so he's just, you know, plain simple robot and I... I um, believe he's really tall in the movie and stuff, but you can see his giant head there. He's got um, all sorts of like designs and stuff on the side of his face and the bottom there. And then his plain like robotic body and everything, which looks really cool. So that is awesome. I can't wait to see him. Of course, he's um, voiced by um, Alan Tudyk, I believe his name is, um, which of course is a big like sci-fi person and stuff, actor from like Firefly and everything so hopefully he'll do um, an awesome job voicing that. So next up we have C2B5 which again as you can see it's a robot it looks like R2D2 so I assume he's going to be like an R2D2 character. I don't know if he's going to be good or bad. Um, 
haven't really seen, I don't really ever recall seeing him in the trailers or anything. Um, I may just have missed it, but yeah, I would, I would hope and think he would be on the good side, but i um, not exactly sure. But um, I like these um, like robots, like bobble versions, because they just kind of shake back and forth, which I really like that compared to the uh, normal bobbles. But yeah, he's pretty much just R2-D2 painted black is <laughs> all it is. But it's still really cool. R2-D2 is one of my favorite um, characters, so I'm sure he'll be up there with me. Um, next up we have, um, this one I don't know how to even say, but I'll go with, um, Chirrut Emwe, or something like that, but he's, um, I think by the description I read on him back when they first released the trailer and stuff, that he's a, he's not a Jedi, but he believes in the Force, and the power of the Force, so he's kind of like a studier of the Force, and so he's kind of like, um, a Jedi and like a monk version and so that's why um, he's got the outfit he does and uses a stick and everything so he believes in the power of the force and all that stuff but doesn't actually have the like power and stuff um, but he still studied like the training and everything so as you see he's got his um, whited out eyes because he's blind his staff that he of course fights with and stuff and then his awesome like robe suit and everything as you can see so that's really cool I can't wait to see what um, cool things he does as you see um, can see in the trailers and stuff he fights off a bunch of um, stormtroopers in the streets and stuff so hopefully he'll do a great job then we have what I believe is like his protector if I remember right and it's um, Blaze Malbus um, which I think looks like a really cool character um, again another character that I hope is um, really good and everything but he just looks like he's an all around like badass kind of guy. And I, I said, I believe he's the one that's the protector of the um, last guy. And so he's, you know, like the muscle to the group and stuff and protects him and helps um, protect his ideals and stuff like that. Um, but as you can see, he's um, got a gun there, which of course attaches to like a backpack. So I, I don't know if this is like a flamethrower or what I know. I've seen a flamethrower in the commercial and stuff, but don't know if that's what he used or not. Of course, then he's just got his normal um, outfit, which kind of reminds me of uh, Boba Fett in some ways and stuff. Um, but then he's got like his little like dreaded hair and everything, which looks really cool. So again, hopefully that's a, another awesome character that will just kill a bunch of stormtroopers in the movie. Um, now we'll go over to more of the bad side group, or dark side, I should say. Um, so we'll start with an Imperial... Um, Death Trooper, which of course is just a take on a Stormtrooper, but they're just all black painted, and of course modifications to the armor and stuff. And as um, with it being um, Rogue One being uh, before Episode Four and stuff, you'd assume this is an early version of the Stormtroopers between um, Storm actual Stormtroopers, you know, from Episode Four and uh, the um, Revenge of the Sith clones and stuff like that. So it's hard to see with this light, but he's yeah, just all black and he has like greenish um, eyes and then like the whole breather parts here in the front of the mask and everything. But yeah, it's just your know, like classic um, Stormtrooper suit, just all black and stuff. But then he has a, cool, a lot cooler gun, of course. But that is awesome. So it's just again another generic uh, character, Stormtrooper. That is slide. Then we have another version, which is um, the Scarif Stormtrooper. Yeah, Stormtrooper, I thought it was something else. So it's just like a um, gray version. Kind of reminds me it would be like the sand, um, sand versions of Stormtroopers. But again, without seeing the moving stuff, don't know exactly um, what they do and stuff. But as you can see, he's got like a weird like visor thing on the top of his head with, with of course... Um, a logo which I don't know he may be a uh, I don't know what he is because they just by like his outfit kind of matches others and stuff so I thought maybe he may be on the rebel side but I, I assume it's a empire type person since it's a, it is a stormtrooper but the logo is not familiar there so I don't know if that's a new logo an early um I guess it wouldn't really I don't know I'll just stop talking um 
but yeah, it just looks really cool. And of course, again, with this and the um, Imperial Death Trooper and stuff, there's, again, multiple versions and um, exclusives you can get and stuff from other stores and everything. Um, and then, of course, last but not least out of the group here is Darth Vader making his um, reappearance back in or into this movie, which, of course... It is in the timeline where he would still be alive, of course, because it's before episode four. And so this is just the basic one. I really wanted the Darth Vader from GameStop, where he's actually, uh, I think he has his lightsaber and stuff, or he's at least just doing the, like, choke and stuff. And I'm, I really wanted that, but to do the whole deal thing and stuff, I had to go ahead and get it. Um, so there is just plain old Darth Vader. <laughs> Nothing amazing or spectacular, just the way he's standing there with his hands on his um, belt and stuff. Yeah, it's just plain old Darth Vader, nothing um, really to see or different about him. Probably just more details than the past or original ones and stuff. But still really cool to have him. So that is it for the um, Entertainment Earth uh, pops that we got. And um, so that's it for that. But there is um, some more. So here we also have the Saul Guerrero. Um, which is uh, really cool. This is a Walmart exclusive, although in the store they don't have the stickers on them. But I know like you can like order them from places that will have the stickers on it and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I was able to um, find this at my local Walmart for once they actually had props and stuff. And so um, there's, of course, his character up close. Again, hard to see with this light. And so all the way around on the back and stuff. And um, of course, if you don't know, this guy has been featured in um, the Clone Wars show, which I don't really remember him. Um, I've watched all the season stuff, but I don't really remember. But, I mean, he's probably just a minor character. That's your turn. Um, but just um, really cool. Forrest Whitaker, I believe, plays him and stuff. And he's got, like, his robotic leg and everything. So that looks really cool. Like I said, I was really happy to pick that up. And so that's really all of it that are new or different characters. Um... They have, of course, like I said, all the exclusives at different stores and stuff that you can get. Um, and then there was also, um, for the Comic-Con this past weekend, there was a, um, I don't know how you say his name, Bistin, Bistin or Bistin, something like that, um, from the movie as well. Uh, he was an exclusive at FYE, but of course, they sold him online and they were gone before I even was able to get to it and stuff. Um, but they are going to resell him, so hopefully I can get it again. Um, and then I'll be able, I believe, to have the whole set now of Rogue One so far. Um, but I also did get this um, other Star Wars character this weekend. And, of course, it's from Hot Topic. And it is the Ahsoka from Rebels. So I'm really excited to get um, the Star Wars Rebels um, character stuff. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the show. But I enjoy it enough and want the characters and stuff. Especially Ahsoka since, you know, I watched all the Clone Wars and stuff when they were on and everything. So, um... You know, I know her from the show and stuff. Now, on the back here, they do have a um, Mass Sabine as well, which I really want to get, but it's a Walgreens, and Walgreens is horrible to get stuff from. So I'll have to see if I can um, find that somewhere and get it for the set. But here's, of course, Ahsoka. Now, this form, she's um, more of an, I don't know, like an exact age or anything, but she's considered to be an adult um, in Rebels and stuff. So she's not the little kid anymore, and she has her two lightsabers that are clear, showing that she's neither a Jedi nor a Sith. She's just a neutral um, person that knows the Force, but not really on either side and stuff. So in her normal um, outfit, pretty much the same as when she was on uh, Clone Wars and stuff. And then I just love um, the awesome like head design, which I believe... I want to say it's a Twi'lek, but I'm pretty sure that's not what this is. I used to know because um, she's just like Shakti, which is one of my favorite Jedis. Um, but they're the same like species of people and stuff. And I used to remember what she was. Like. That was back when Episode 3 came out, so that's over 10 years ago. Um, but that's so that's it for all the pops today. So we got um, the 11 um, Rogue One pops and then this um, Ahsoka from Star Wars Rebels. And so that's it for the... Um, showing off the pops or whatever um, be sure to hit the like button subscribe to see more and we'll see you next time